This helmet has been all the craze, and some people are struggling to print it. What's going on? I'm Dylan from Saturday Morning Props, where I teach all things 3D printing, from tips and tricks all the way to full Iron Man suits and props and things like that. And in this video, I'm going to teach you the best way to 3D print the Deadpool helmet from DO3D. This file is by do3d.com. You can get 20% off with code SMP20, and that'll give you 20% off this helmet or all the other versions, the Deadpool 3, the Wolverine pool, all of those things, 20% off using that code. And if you need any sizing help with the helmet, I have two videos on my channel about that. I'll have them linked here at the end of the video. Let's start with the main shell of the helmet. I actually print this two different ways, depending on different print size and things like that. You'll see everybody print it in this upright position here, usually leaning it back juts a tad. And what that does is that starts the chin at a better angle. If you have it supported too far up, then you're gonna have to catch and you'll chew up the bottom chin a lot here. What you wanna do is rock it back just a tad so that way it's flat about here and that'll allow you to keep this texture nice and smooth. You're gonna wanna catch the magnet tabs here and here to make sure that those are supported because they're gonna try to print into free air. As you can see, I support underneath the ridge here, and then I also support underneath the ridge on the back doing kind of like a double layer there. But you don't have to support the center spot here. There usually is one here as well. When printing in this orientation, you'll get a little bit of ringing at the top where you can see a small, small texture here. And I'm printing at 0.16 quality. On something like the Bamboo A1, it is super minimal. Like they are just really not there. But with the K1 Max, I actually like to lay it on its side. What that does is it allows it to finish on the top edge here and you get zero ringing and it's super nice. But what you have to do is you have to support this whole ridge here with a lot more support, but it comes out so nice, it, it's kind of worth it. Unfortunately with the bamboos, the build volume doesn't allow you to lay it on its side, but the quality is so good that you don't really need to do that. You can have it printed upright. If you have a build volume of like 300 by 300, I'd say give it a try, tip it over and see if you like it. If you're liking the content, like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube things, it really helps me out. We're really growing over here and I'd love to have you a part of the channel. Comment down below, have you printed a ton of these or what's your hardest print that you've done so far? For the side pieces for me, I actually flip it up like this and if you're using a bed slinger like the A1 or a CR10 or the Elgoos, I like to make sure that they're facing forward and backward. So that way the bed is moving in long runs like this and the nozzle is shaking back for the texture because there's a lot of texture on this. So with that, the printer is going to shake back and forth. If you had it front to back like this or side to side, then the bed would shake back and forth to get this little detail there you don't want that. That's when this thing's gonna fall over. So try to do with the long runs going forward and back, if that makes sense. With the back plate, I just lean it forward just a tad because that allows this overhang to be slightly less steep. If you have it too far back, it kind of drips down a little bit. Lean it forward just a little bit and then I support the whole bottom with snug supports. For the eyes here, what I like to do is I like to lean it back like this to so where this point is at the very top there because that allows this to print without supports. And then I lean it over just a little bit as well so that way all of the supports are catching the inside, not the outside of the lens. I don't want any supports touching the rim as much as possible. So if I lean it this way a little bit, the support will stay underneath of it and it'll be out of sight. So if it messes up or it marks up the plastic a little bit, you won't be able to see that on the finished product and it'll look really nice and smooth. And I just use auto tree supports for these. I also print these at 0.2 resolution instead. Sometimes the magnet holes peek through if you have too thin of walls or you're trying to print it too high of a quality. So I actually go to 0.2 and a little bit thicker walls to make sure no magnets or blemishes are kind of peeking through. The eye mesh prints just fine. I just do sub supports all along the bottom there and it prints great at 0.16. I've printed a ton of these things, so I hope this helps you out if you've been struggling at all to print this or just confused about how to go about it. Check out the sizing tutorial after this. Love you guys. Peace.